Okay, today's video is going to be a little story time. Um, firstly, I want to say I don't want this to just be a bashing of this agency I'm going to be talking about. I want it to be more about my experience and I'm going to follow up with kind of like what I learned from my experience there. I really do believe that the people at this agency are good people and obviously we're all humans. We're going to learn, we're going to make mistakes, we're going to treat people poorly at some times. But I wish nothing but the best for these people and I hope they're not offended by this if they ever see this. I just really want this to be an accurate reflection of my experience and how I felt about it. To start this story, I'm going to take it way back to 2016. 2016, I graduated from high school and then I got signed with my mother agency. They are called Helen Wells. They're in Indianapolis. I'm still with them. I love them to death. They've been amazing. And that was really my first step into modeling. It wasn't anything high fashion. It was just good jobs with good companies locally, and I got paid for them. I honestly was very naive. I was recommended there by a friend, and they signed me, and I thought, okay, I'm a model now. So I was very new. I didn't really do any research, but they had a casting with an agent from Chicago for a bigger, more reputable agency. Um, I'm not going to be saying the names of the other agencies in this video, but I got signed after the casting. I was one of the few girls who got signed, and I went to Chicago, I signed my contract, and I thought, oh my gosh, this is my big break. <laughs> I was so stupid. <laughs> At this point, I still wasn't doing enough research into what modeling actually meant. I didn't understand my contract, which could be both of our faults. But yeah, so I got signed in Chicago with a bigger agency. So on Instagram, I was following models. I followed agencies that have models I liked. And so there was this one specific agency that I really admired because they had discovered one of my favorite models who's still one of my favorite models and they had posted that they were doing um, a casting in Indianapolis which is where I lived so I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna go to this casting and I'm gonna be America's Next Top Model <laughs> They had this casting and I went. There were a bunch of girls there. I recognized a few from my own agency and I hopped in line and I met some of the people from the agency and it went super well. They took a few pictures of me. I had told them that I was with an agency in Chicago and an agent and an agency in Indianapolis and they were like, "Oh, okay, cool." And I left and felt good about it. And then the next week I got a phone call. This phone call was like the most exciting phone call of my life. Um, basically the agent said, you were the one girl from Indiana that we chose and that we really liked and we see a huge future for you. Like how would you feel about traveling New York, Milan, LA? <laughs> Paris and my eyes just went like my heart was fluttering I remember crouching to the ground because I just like couldn't believe I was their one pick from Indiana I was so flattered so surprised and I said yes of course and at this point I hadn't even told my other agencies that I had gone to this casting and this was completely my fault like I said, I didn't understand my contract, so I didn't understand that you have to tell your current agencies about future jobs, future clients, other agencies who like you. So what I had done was actually a breach of my contract, which I learned because I called my home agency in Indianapolis and they were very gracious with me and they're like, yeah, you're, you're not supposed to do that without telling us. But I really wanted to get with this agency who was pitching me all of these wonderful dream words. And so my Indianapolis agency was like, okay, well, we can work with you. Um, 
just keep us in the loop from now on. And I said, okay, I definitely will do that. I am so sorry. The next few weeks, I was kind of going between the two agencies, talking to both of them. Let's call this agency, let's call this agency Blueberry Agency. And let's call my point of contact at Blueberry Agency, let's call them Terry. When I would talk to Terry, Terry was telling me, oh, you have to leave your agency in Indianapolis and you have to leave the agency in Chicago. And I was like, this agency in Chicago is well known. Why would I leave this agency? But me being 18, wanting to people please, I didn't question it. I was just like, oh, okay. Like, I'll do whatever you tell me to do. And so Terry convinced me that I needed to leave both of these agencies. So I drafted an email basically asking to be released from my contract. I sent it to Terry. Terry approved it. And I sent it to Helen Wells and my agency in Chicago. I'm sorry for the amount of times I'm going to say agency or agent in this video. There's no other word for it. So I sent that dreadful email and basically was released of my contracts in Chicago and Indianapolis and I was diving headfirst into Blueberry Agency. So Blueberry Agency was putting on a big fashion show for their new discoveries um, in their city and so I drove several miles I spent my mom spent lots of money on accommodations gas food in hopes that I would get signed in Milan Paris New York LA also I had a conversation with Terry after I sent that email and Terry was like well you can stay with your Indianapolis agency, I guess. I just left them because you told me to leave them. <sighs> okay, so time for this fashion show to get going. I had been working out. I paid $100 for this workout routine that they recommended. My skin was pretty clear. I've had acne for a long time and my acne comes into this later. But I was feeling good. I was like, this is gonna be my big break. So I did the fashion show, and before the fashion show, they dyed my hair brown permanently. But in my head, I was like, this is what it takes. This is what it takes. I'm going to do it. I'm going to have brown hair. I'm going to spend hundreds of dollars. I'm going to torture myself every day eat egg whites every day because this is what I want. So after this fashion show, I get a good contact in LA with another reputable agency. Let's call that agency Strawberry Agency. So Strawberry Agency had told Blueberry Agency, we really like Jade, but her skin needs to get a little bit better before we actually sign her. Oh. Another little detail is they had sent us a development contract for all of their new discoveries to sign. So I signed it, I emailed it to them, I read it this time, and then I'm driving to the fashion show and then Terry texts me and is like, Hey, we need your contract. And I'm like, I already sent it to you. And they were like, like Oh, we lost it. Can you just do it again? Okay. Also, another side note, I missed my brother's wedding to go to this fashion show. That's, that's how serious I was about this. I missed my brother's wedding to go to this fashion show where I didn't even get signed and I spent hundreds of dollars and they dyed my hair brown. That's besides the point. Anyway, back to the main story. <laughs> Okay, we're going to fast forward. So Blueberry Agency was going to put on another fashion event and the same agents were going to be there. This big casting director was going to be there and it was going to be a huge deal. And again, I was thinking, 
I have to make this my time to shine. And basically, while we all the models were preparing in their hometowns, because this, this was kind of far away from where I lived, I barely heard from Terry. Every blue moon, they'd be like, how's your skin? Are you working out? That was all I heard from them. And so I decided to go on the keto diet because I had known other models who were doing that and they looked great. So I went on the keto diet super strict. So one night I was feeling really tired, really lethargic, just not feeling good because my body was in ketosis at that point. And I think it was part of the keto flu. I don't really know, but I wasn't doing very well. And I was reading my phone and all of a sudden I just like couldn't read. The words weren't making sense. I tried to read some texts out loud and it was just like gibberish that came out of my mouth. I ended up going to the emergency room and my blood sugar was really low. And Terry had mentioned cutting my hair sh really short because they thought that would help me get signed with um, Strawberry Agency. So all this time I was kind of preparing in my head to have really short dark hair. And so I thought, why not go ahead and cut it just so I'm ready and they see that I really want this. So I made a hair appointment and I texted Terry and they were like, okay, that's fine. You can do that. A hundred or so dollars later, my hair is this short. It's darker than it's ever been. So the show comes around, I do it. I remember standing in line for one of the casting directors and I had brought a measuring tape to this thing to keep taking my measurements throughout the weekend so that way I knew exactly what I was when I would meet the casting director because you have there, you have to have certain measurements in order to get signed usually. So I was measuring my hips and my waist in, in line to meet this person and the model asks to borrow it and I hand it to her and she sees that her hip is like half an inch too big or something and she immediately like I can tell that upset her and she like went to the bathroom like we were all in this mind frame I can't even explain it like it was like brainwashing almost the casting goes well the show goes well they're basically still like, we want you, but your acne is a problem. And so at this point, Terry was telling me, you need to cut out dairy. That's worked for some of our girls. I'm like, you don't think, you don't think I've already tried that? I had tried everything in the book to get rid of my acne. My acne consumed my life every single day. But I tried it again. And it still wasn't good enough. I remember sending these pictures to Terry because they had asked how my skin was doing. And this was like the best my skin had been in such a long time. So I was excited to send these pictures. And they were like, yeah, that's just still not good enough. I was kind of at a dead end because there was nothing I could do about my skin. My body was fine. Terry and I came to an agreement, basically, and they were like... We can wait for your skin to get better. Um, there's not a huge rush, so just take your time and let us know if you see any improvement. And I was like, thank God they're not dropping me. I ended up not seeing any improvement, but one of the photographers that they do a lot of test shoots for their models with, um, he had reacted to like one of my Instagram stories and like put heart eyes or something like something nice and I just said I'm looking forward to shooting with you sometime he said something like oh yeah me too and that was it but apparently this man this is where the downfall happens <laughs> this man had told Terry that I wanted to shoot like immediately and when you start doing test shoots, that means you're getting ready to go get signed and that you're ready to go, like to Fashion Week and stuff, which I wasn't. And since I was waiting on my skin to get better, I wasn't eating as well. I wasn't exercising as hard as I had been because 
What was the point? I was only go going to go as fast as my skin would let me. I wasn't, I didn't completely derail, but I wasn't in that mode that I had been for a while. So Terry texts me and says, hey, this photographer said that you wanted to shoot now. Go ahead and send us some digitals. And I'm like, I didn't want to disappoint them and I didn't want to explain that I wasn't ready because I was a stupid 18 year old or 19 year old. So instead of explaining that it was a misunderstanding, I went ahead and took some rough digitals and I wasn't anywhere near prepared for that. I'll put the pictures here so you can see exactly the pictures I sent to Terry. I still have them. And Terry had their red receipts on. <laughs> so I saw that Terry had read the pictures. And Terry said nothing. So I had like a heart attack the rest of that day. A month goes by. A month. I hear nothing from Terry. Then, out of the blue, I get the text. I'm just going to have to give you the gist of what it said because I deleted it at the time because I was really upset when I got it. But overall, the gist was, we need to work with our models who are more serious at this time than you are. You're not toned enough. Your skin is still bad. But we think the world of you. You're always welcome to reapply. My heart sunk. I was so upset because I felt like I had invested my, my life into this at this point. Like this was over a, a time span of several months. I missed my brother's wedding. My long hair was gone. I had brown hair, which I didn't like. I was skinnier than I had ever been, and Blueberry Agency ended it, like that. So thank God my agency in Indianapolis, Helen Wells, took me back. I went and apologized, but overall, I just want the purpose of this video to be educational and hopefully to help somebody who was like me, is a little bit naive, is young. Read your contract. Have somebody go over your contract line by line with you before you sign it. If you're already with an agency, think to yourself, is this a good agency? Are they treating me right or are they treating me as a means to an end to get their money, which is how I was treated? Or are they treating you as a human being? Ask tons of questions. There's never a stupid question. Don't be embarrassed. I think the biggest reason that this whole story happened to me was my fear of embarrassment. If I had just asked enough questions or if I had just been bold enough to stand up for myself, I wouldn't have gone through that heartache. You also need to do your research, whether it's about an agency, a photographer, or a company that you're going to work for. Just Google it or even DM models who have the experience and see if they'll be honest with you and see what they say about it. Don't invest a ton of money into any agency, photographer, or offer. Obviously, you're gonna have to pay for a few things, like if you want your hair done, or if you need like a bikini wax, or if you need like, I don't know, your nails done. But don't spend hundreds and thousands of dollars when you haven't even been guaranteed anything. I think the biggest thing to take from this video is stay healthy. I was definitely not healthy at that point in my life and I went about it all wrong because I was trying to lose weight as quickly as possible. And there is a right way to do things and there is a wrong way. And so again, do your research don't do anything drastic, don't torture yourself, and consult a doctor if you're not 100% sure about something. I think that pretty much sums up my experience with Blueberry Agency. Again, I wish them the best. I hope that their models are happy. I hope that they treat their models with respect. We're all learning, evolving, and growing. And the experience wasn't completely negative. I made friends from it. I learned a lot the hard way. And I got to travel a little bit, so that was good. 
If this video helped you or you just liked it, make sure to like it. Please subscribe if you're not and good luck in all of your endeavors. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video.